Okay, so now you should have for your seven two transfer prints. So you should have a larger piece and a smaller piece. For this task today, we are just going to be focusing on the smaller piece for the moment with the larger piece slightly later on. So you should have a bright side of your transfer print and you should also have a slightly paler side. Now the paler side should have a bit of a backing called interfacing on there and it's on there for a purpose to make your fabric uh, slightly stronger so it's easier to sew and does not slip around quite as much. Now with this you are going to measure it. So first of all, so mine is 10.5. Um, by 10.5 so I just want to very quickly check that this is all nice and straight so I just here I think I might just need to straighten that section up a little bit so it's a little bit more even and effectively on the back of your piece so the, this is the bright side this one's the back you are going to mark out four equal sections so it's now just over 10 centimetres, so it's going to be approximately 2.5, 2.5 again, 2.5 again, and that will be roughly equal. And then I need to mark it out at the top as well, 2.5, 2.5. Two point five. Now with this, you should then flip it round this way and join your dots across. So you've got a straight cutting line to follow. Now your teacher might ask you to um, show them this before you start cutting. Here I just need to even it up because that looks slightly bigger than 2.5. So here. So when you've done that, uh, your teacher might ask you to show it to them. If so, please show your teacher before you do any cutting. You're then cutting along the lines. So this bit here is just going to be a bit of scrap. But these strips are what we need to keep. Make sure you're holding the scissors properly when you are cutting. So it should be like this, with your hand flat against the table. Now you need your larger piece. So you've got your four pieces here, and then you need your larger piece. The larger piece, you will need to line up with the edge and place fairly evenly apart, roughly like that. You might need to adjust them slightly you can, if you wanted to, flip some of these round so they're not quite all lined up exactly the same. Um, up to you how you want that to go. Then from there, you're going to start putting pins in. You need at least two pins in each one. When you are using the pins, the pins need to go through the fabric, right through the other side, so it's right through two layers, and then out the other side. If you leave your pins in really loose like this, it's just going to come off and the machine will probably eat that. So you don't need your pins to be positioned quite like that. They have to come through the other side. After you've pinned on your pieces of fabric you then need to start going onto the sewing machine now we've used these before today you'll be uh, selecting some decorative stitches you need to uh, talk to your teacher about which ones they recommend that you use for today I'm going to use stitch number seven now I can tell the stitches over here and here is where the stitch number changes so i would change that up to seven and then I would concentrate now on sewing my piece. 
Now, when you get to your pins, you will need to take them out. So with regards to this one, so I've already started sewing a line down here. So that's now secure. So I now need to just finish that line off. Please line this up with the middle of the presser foot. Remember when you're sewing, you then lift the presser foot up and pull the thread all the way out. And cut it off over there if you cut it off right next to the needle it's just going to come unthreaded and you're going to spend most of the lesson um, re-threading your machine which you don't want so let me show you again with this one so this one's already got the pin in so what you would do is you'd put the presser foot down you would start sewing along and when you get close to the pin you would just take the pin out so if you have trouble with that, you can put the needle into the machine, lift up the presser foot so it can turn slightly. It is easier. It is easier if you take out the pins before you get close to them. Again, same process, lift up the presser foot, put it to the side, and then cut the thread. And you're just repeating the process along the line. Again, pull this right out. Now what you should end up with is your piece of fabric that has got your pieces sewn on. Now the process you've just completed is called a plique. That is the process of attaching a smaller piece of fabric to the larger piece. So these pieces here are your smaller pieces and I've just sewn them on to the larger piece. Please make sure to cut all your loose threads off and when you're doing this task make sure you're taking the pins out if you don't take the pins out, you risk you run the risk of uh, breaking your machine needle. So please be very, very careful with that.